All right, so I'd seen advertised around Bristol that Noel Gallagher would be performing on the 1st of September. However, I didn't exactly have any money to splash out on tickets, so I thought of another way. All right, so I'm just about to sneak into the dance festivals going on over there. Uh, I've got a high-vis jacket in my bag, and I'm going to try and get in as a litter picker. Um, I got this idea from a guy called Zach Allsop. Uh, he'd done the same thing, like, a couple of years ago. Um, I've kind of got a bit of experience of, like, sneaking into places. Like, there was a festival, like, two months ago, and um, I bumped into that Zach guy as well, uh, trying to do the same thing. It was my first ever time, and uh, I'm thinking of his YouTube video for, like, that's, like, 10 seconds or something. Boys, we're in. Yeah, fingers crossed this one goes to plan because I really want to see Noel Gallagher. Now at this point the plan was just to watch Noel perform and then go home. So I put on my disguise and got ready to sneak in. Right, I think it's complete. I've got the two pound ear piece in my ear. Little student lanyard thing I found. Uh, high vis jacket, that was four quid. Bin liner and a glove. So all in all, I think I spent probably around about six to eight quid. And the ticket is 60 quid, so not bad. Made a profit. Right, let's go try sneak in. Ugh, I've actually got to pick up litter. Kind of there it is, boys. Right, everything's ready. Just got confident now. Now, would the disguise work? I mean, I wasn't even wearing the same colour high vis as the rest of the staff. I had no credentials and I had no wristbands. So I just had to walk in with a lot of confidence. Now, once I got to the entrance, I gave the security the nod, but the main question was, was I able to get in? Of course I was. It is. We're inside a cubicle right now. Now, as I was walking up and down, not really knowing what to do with myself, I noticed some wristbands on the floor. I don't think they actually did anything, but oh well. And then, literally, about 10 seconds after, I found a ticket to the festival which gave me an alibi. So I was sorted. I heard what sounded like a dying animal in the distance, so I went over to check it out. <laughs> I'm so glad I did. I'd seen it all now by this point. That was honestly the pinnacle of the festival so far. So I knew I had to do something. I looked around and spotted a VIP guest area, but I didn't have the right coloured wristband to get into it. But they were pink. So I used a bit of ingenuity and found a pink feather and a bit of string. I was ready. I headed back to the same portal where I ditched the bin bag and got changed into my disguise. But would it work? I mean, surely I can't get away with this twice in a row now. I slowly approached the guest area and then the unthinkable happened. I was in, but there wasn't much going on. So I snuck into the artist's food tent and helped myself to a drink and a bit of food. Right after some refreshments, I wandered off to the back of the stage. But little did I know that behind me was where the headline acts were just chilling. But more importantly, this is where Noel Gallagher would be. I knew that this would be a make or break situation. Should I go in there and risk getting caught and not being able to watch Noel Gallagher perform later? Or should I just leave it? Leave it. Leave it. Absolute madness has just happened. Thank so I've somehow much. snuck backstage. And I went into the artist area. No, Who's standing in front of me? No Gallagher. I swear to God, I literally went up to it. Picked up a bit of litter first to you know make it look believable. And I went, oh, oh do you mind if I get a picture? Literally. How is this happening? With this, this. So I met Noel Gallagher. That is a sentence I never thought I would actually say. But anyway, when I was in there, I didn't want to film anything because I just wanted to respect the people's privacies that were in there. And there was little kids running around and stuff like that. And I just thought, just, I'd just leave it. So I pretty much left after I got the photo of Noel and just started exploring some more backstage. So I'm just chilling backstage. 
fat JCBs everywhere. After I'd seen every single JCB there was backstage, I left and headed back to the portal. Alright, we've <laughs> done it. We pulled it off. The pink feather that we found has allowed us to meet Noel Gallagher. We're, in, we're back in the portal. It's time to change it up and just watch Noel Gallagher now. <laughs> I don't know. I then started making my way to the front of the stage to watch Noel perform. Paul Weller was absolutely sick. I only knew a couple of his songs before and but he's so good. Anyway, it was the moment that I'd been waiting for. It was just under half an hour until my new best mate went on stage. And then 9.30 arrived. I can see by the boldness there are Oasis fans in the room. Get off my fucking land! Get off my land! And that was it. Now, I do want to say a quick disclaimer. I don't recommend that you try this, as it probably is illegal. But also, if any of the organisers are watching this video, you need to seriously sort out your security. I managed to breach through five phases of security to get to where Noel was. I mean, anyone could have done that. Anyone. I.e a terrorist. Anyway, that's all I want to say on that because I don't want to end this video on a dark tone. Anyway, if you have enjoyed watching this video, uh, give it a thumbs up, uh, share it with your mates, that'd be quite good, um, and uh, click, click subscribe if you want. <laughs> Cheers, bye.